Hey friends, Randall here with Cooking Under Pressure, a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you how to use your pressure cooker, whether it's an Instapot, Power Pressure Cooker XL, we are here to get you over the fear and we have an awesome recipe for you today. It is paella straight from Spain, super easy, super quick. We hope you're staying safe out there, but we got a great video for you coming up next. Hey, great to see everyone. It's a beautiful floor today. I know you're stuck inside, most people around the country, but we're outside today making paella, a beautiful, fantastic, tasty Spanish dish. It's gonna look like you just went to a Spanish cooking class. You're gonna be able to share this meal with your family during these difficult, challenging times. Now let's do this. I've already started cooking onions, bell peppers. I've got yellow peppers, red peppers, green peppers. I also have a quarter of a cup of olive oil as well as two tablespoons of butter. You know I like the Kerrygold. So we're going to mix that up and just get that going. This paella is going to be super quick. We're going to make this as easy as possible for you. So we're going to, of course, have some spicy sausage that we have to include. This is chorizo. We're gonna put in the chorizo right now. We've got a good stick of chorizo. I got a piece of uncured chorizo. Next up, I have uh, marinated and spiced up some chicken breasts. I have three large chicken breasts here with some paprika, a little adobo, and we're gonna put that in as well going to mix that together. So we've got the chorizo, the chicken breast. You can also use chicken thighs if you'd like. I have some minced garlic. Let's put in a good heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. So we'll pop that in there as well. Stir that garlic in. Uh, you can already see those beautiful colors coming together. I have two cups of tomato puree. I'll pour that straight in. And try not to get that all over the table. I have a can of stewed tomatoes. You can get this. There's a few different brands. I don't drain these. I put the entire can of stewed tomatoes in. So I think it's 14.5. Uh, yes, it is 14.5 ounces. So we'll start to mix that up, get the onions mixed up from the bottom and the peppers with the meats. So let's put in, I have chicken stock. Let's put that in to get some juice in there. This is a box, 32 ounces, 32 ounces. We're going to use three and a half cups three and a half cups, which is almost the entire box, because that is eight, 16, 24, 28. So we're about four ounces short. I don't want to use the entire box because I might need some after we finish cooking. I have a, a pound and a half bag of frozen seafood. This is calamari. We have some scallops in here. We have some shrimp. It also came with some mussels. I took the mussels out. We're gonna put the mussels on the top at the end so they pop open and we'll be able to put those right on top of your dish. You can do a pound of scallops, a pound of shrimp, however you wanna do this. I've got a pound and a half. This was bought at BJ's. I'm sure Costco has it as well. Uh, any of your large market, it's a nice mixed frozen bag of seafood. So I cook it all together from the very start and put the seafood under pressure. Some people put their seafood in after they pressurized it. I prefer it all cooked in together and uh, this is frozen so we put that in frozen. I do a little bit of ground pepper. I like to add one bay leaf. So we're going to toss in one nice bay leaf in there and a little bit of my Himalayan salt. Now we are on saute here, we are not cooking, but you can keep it on saute during this time. Start mixing everything together. And I, th 
I like a little bit more spice, so I'm gonna do just a couple of shakes of crushed red pepper. Always adds a nice flavor. So we're gonna mix that in. And I've got a bottle of wine, which is gonna be today's cocktail. That is half a cup. And that is Pinot Grigio. You can use Chardonnay, whatever you'd like. And to make this a quick cook, you can use a Boreo rice. You can add saffron. I could not find any saffron. So I just got the Vigo uh, saffron yellow rice. It is a bag that is one pound. So that's two full cups. And we're gonna pour that in right now. That's the last item. Make sure you give that a really good mix. You wanna make sure that rice is mixed in completely with all of those other ingredients. We have a lot of ingredients in here. I highly recommend an eight quart pressure cooker if you have an Instapot, power pressure cooker XL like myself here. Last but not least, uh, I think I wanted to add just a little additional paprika on the top. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna close this up. It is a 10 minute cook, so up to pressure, five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna do a quick release. In the meantime, of course, the cocktail of the day, I've got in vino, Pinot Grigio from Italy. Fortunately, I didn't have a Spanish wine, but this is a crisp, clean, perfect for a hot floor today. Mm, in vino, Pinot Grigio, it's a great wine if you can find it at your local grocer or wine store. We'll see you in a few minutes. So the pressure indicator has dropped and we are going to open the lid. As always, I use a towel or a rag we're going to open this up. Beautiful. So we're going to mix this up a little bit. You can see the rice from the bottom. Oh, yes. Folks, that was 15 minutes to get up to pressure. 10 minutes to cook. And we have a gorgeous paella. Colorful. This is going to be extremely tasty. So we've got a few more things we're going to add. I always add a whole lemon, juice of a whole lemon. Remember to keep it upright so you don't throw any seeds in there. So I'm gonna throw all of the juice in there of a lemon. And we add some frozen peas. You can add uh, peas that aren't frozen, but i uh, got about eight ounces of peas here. So we will put in eight ounces of peas and just mix that in, blend that in nicely. Uh, look at those gorgeous colors. Those will cook in a couple of minutes. Oh, fantastic. That rice has got nicely cooked. At this point, I have, I actually have the mussels that I took out of the pound and a half of mixed seafood. They're still a little bit frozen, but they've thawed out a little bit. The easiest way to do this is to always do it after the cooking, or you can cook them on the oven if you want to for, you know, three to five minutes and some wine or some water. But I find that this is quicker, easier. We want these mussels to open up. They should all be closed. So we're just going to put the mussels right on top. And I hit the saute button. And we hit uh, turn it off and then the saute button and we're just going to close this up all right it's taken about six or seven minutes for the mussels ah uh, yes they have all opened up nicely what we're going to do is let's fish those mussels out one at a time and yes they've all opened up this will make it easier when you plate up people's dishes 
because sometimes sometimes the muscles will crack a little bit or they'll get full of rice these don't have any rice in it which is really nice and then give this one final stir this just looks perfect I and mean, we've got all the colors of the peppers now the peas have cooked up big chunks of chorizo we're going to fill this bowl great consistency the rice has cooked perfectly as well you've got the chicken is cooked and don't worry folks you've got the the meat with the seafood the temperature of this pressure cooker gets up hot enough this is a perfect cook with everything in there together we are going to take the mussels drop a few on top if you're plating individual plates put a few nice open mussels on there there you have it folks just a quick easy very tasty paella dish 30 minutes you're gonna look like a Spanish rock star and thank you for all of our healthcare workers our grocery store workers everyone in between this is a difficult time right now and as always if you ain't cooking under pressure you ain't cooking we will see you next time